Hi, I'm Michael. I'm Hush. And today we're going to teach you a game called In Between. Now to play this game, you need a deck of cards, and all you need is 11 cards. So we've got, we've gone with diamonds, and we've got from zero, with um, queen being zero, all the way up to 10, and 20 tokens per player. Now, Nash and I have got counters at home, but we've spoken before about if you don't have counters, you can use Lego bricks, you can make counters with pieces of paper, whatever you've got in your house, but you need 20 per player. Now, the way the game goes, is uh, one person's gonna deal the cards and the other person's gonna be the person making the decision. So I'll deal first, Nash, yeah, okay. and we swap after every turn. So basically it's called in between because the idea is I'm gonna deal out two cards and then Nash has to decide whether this third card is gonna be in between these two cards or not. Now, his choice he's got is to play zero tokens, one token, two tokens or three tokens. Every time you've got a choice between zero and three zero. tokens. So you're not gonna play any? Yeah. Okay, and let's check. Good decision. All right, so now it's Nash's turn to do it for me. I'll shuffle for Nashy. Okay. So you place the cards out for me. Okay, so three, six, so and I've got- three chances. So, uh, tell me what the three chances are. What cards could come in between? Four, five, six. Oh, four and five. Four and five. I might play one token. No, that's... Okay, that's now, because I played a token and I didn't get it right, Nash gets to keep my token. If I had have got it right, Nash would have to match however many tokens I have and give them back to me. So that's the first turn. Let's do a second turn so we just we get the hang of the game. All right, Nash. Zero and six. You're going to do two tokens? Okay. Two. Okay, so that was in between. So now Nash, keep your two tokens there. He gets two of my tokens to match his two tokens and he takes them back. <laughs> I'm winner. And how do we just find the winner? So the winner is after five rounds. Whoever's got the most tokens is going to be the winner. Okay. Now, if you wanted to play for longer, you could play until someone loses all their tokens. Hold on, Nash. Oh. Now, I'm going to show another... Hold on. I'm going to show another... If if you're playing the game with your child and they're, and they're, they're not getting the hang of the range and, you know, what's a good decision and what the chance of the cards coming out, again, my advice would be to play more, play more. And the more they play, the more they see how the cards work, they should start getting the hang of it. But if they're still having difficulties, one thing you can do that's a really easy thing is just make a piece of paper that looks like this. Now, my one doesn't actually have a zero on it, so let's hope we don't draw a zero out. But something that looks like this, and now, Nash, when you deal the cards out, just put your cards on top of where this where they go in here. Eight. So eight and ten. ten. So now, for me, it's really easy to see that, oh, this is quite a small range here. So... Uh, given there's only a nine in there, I'm gonna I'm gonna say I'm gonna play zero tokens, Nash. Six. And it was a six. So was that a good decision? Yeah. Yeah. If it was that and that, I would be seven. Okay. So that's two turns. So the way it would work now is Nash and I would keep playing. So we'd play a third turn, a fourth turn, a fifth turn. At the end of the fifth turn, we would count up our tokens to see who yeah. is the winner. Do you want to check and see who's the winner? Yeah. Okay, quickly, let's do that. No, 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 do, oh, do you want to finish the game? Yeah. Okay, we'll finish the game. Let's go. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Now, we don't need that, do we? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Well, this is a good one. I'm going for like, all my counters. I'm joking. I'm going with zero. Now, can I ask you, Nashi, why are you putting zero? Because I'm not thinking about between five and six. There's nothing between five and six. So the chance of getting a card in between them is actually impossible, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, let's have a look and just check. Good decision. All right, so that's your third turn. All right, I'm gonna go three tokens. Alright, 
So now, Nashi, let's count up our tokens and see who's the winner. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. What? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 21. Check yours again. 2. Got that Can you have 20 and I have 21? No, nah, so check it again. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, nine. Nineteen. And I love the way you were moving them over as you did it. So that means actually up until that last turn you were winning. Alright, so guys, that's in between. Uh, that and all the other maths games we've been posting are up at our website, lovemaths.me slash games. We hope you enjoy and we'll see you next time. Bye.